All right, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashrim, Yahweh Shah Bashrim, Kakodash. I'm going to give double honor to Apostle JMS that, that rules well, that I've learned from my teachers. And, um, Salatis to Yakim. You Aquaf tuning in, you just like farming us. And pretty much, I'm just putting this up. And, um, man, oh man. You know, went to you know, just went to the store and um my goodness, you know, I would you know, been talking to brothers lately, pretty much going back and forth, you know, it's just saying that, you know, this is the end. And um, you know, you got um Kevin Samuels that had, you know, he brings this out that uh majority of so called black women are obese, and, um, you know, they are, it's <laughs> like, you know, I'm still kind of mind boggled, because, uh, you know, this, you know, this woman, this chick, this, you know, this nigga woman was huge, you know, I'm not trying to be funny, you know, trying to make this like a funny lesson, but, you know, this chick was so big, like I kind of, before, you know, she she was a manager. So, you know, when the Edomite got her, you know, it kind of fucked me up. I'm like, oh, my, f I'm like, yo. So it's like I had to swallow, you know, how you swallow, you know, you had, what, a spit, it, you know, you, you know, spit. I had to, you know, swallow. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? You know, pretty much, you know, you know, she, that chick would have chased me, started chasing me. I, I would have ran out the store, left my car, and would have just ran home. <laughs> but, you know, pretty much what I'm saying is, uh, you know, this is a very serious problem. And the thing about it, these, um, the so-called black women, you know, they, they pretty much been uplifted. Well, you had that singer, um, I forgot that. Chick's name. Let me see real quick. Fat black girl singer Lizzo. There she go. There she go. Fucking Lizzo. You know this is uh oh my goodness. This is pretty much what they broadcast amongst the so-called black women. So they pretty much can. Literally just destroy themselves because this is, is, you know, this is promoted here in America. Matter of fact, I'm just fat girl singer Lizzo. BBW, big and beautiful, big and beautiful. You know, oh my goodness, man. You know, this is what they, they promote. And damn it, if this chick wasn't. You know, like I said, man, this is probably about an hour ago, hour, an hour to hour and a half ago, and I'm still, oh my goodness, you know, I'm still mind boggled. But this is what they teach, man. This is what the standard is, you know. If you know you, girl, don't be, don't put yourself down. Don't ever feel bad about yourself. You're entitled. You can get what you want. You know, you can be big. There's a, always a man out there for you. And, you know, this is pushed. You know, this is this is something that you should be ashamed of. You know, that's why the scripture talks about it's a it's a um dietary law. And you're not supposed to eat certain things. But we can you know, we all know how so called blacks and Latinos get down. It's mainly, you know, the so called black women here in America. Because, you know, if you leave America and go amongst, uh, you know, other places where the so-called black woman is, in like South America, certain parts in Central America, which are, because you, know, you have Jude over there too, they're in shape. But the, when you come to America, these so-called black women are the fucking worst. And it, like this article, so I'm going to read some of it, and I'm going to scroll through. You know, these women, there is no shame. They, they, you know, they think they're the shit. Um, let me see, dietary. Let me see, dietary law.
Yeah, this is uh, Leviticus 11. You know, I'm going to scroll through. Like I said, I don't want to make this long. But uh, jump down. There you go. Let's see. Health. KJV. Uh, first Corinthians 6. Like I said, it's jumping around. Uh, first Corinthians 6. 19. What ye know that your body is the temple of, of, of the Holy Spirit, which is ye in you, which ye have of Yahweh. And you are not your own, for you are bought with a price. Therefore, glorify Yahweh in your body and in your spirit, which are, which are Yahweh's. So, a part of this walk is you're supposed to eat careful, be circumspect what you eat, and um, take heed to the law. You know, not just be, be in a glutton. Another thing, too, these women lifestyles are very poor and trash. And pretty much what Esau has done, this, uh, this whole thing with... These bitches can just pretty much fuck around, be a whore, um, waste their life, you know, waste their youth. <clears throat> you know, 15, they can be a slut whore. To, then when they're about 35, 40, they can settle down and find a man, just pick a man off the tree, which is completely contrary. And through these life, through the years, what happened, these, women, these so-called black women trying to hold on to this strong, black, powerful, independent woman, it's a lot of stress that they take in. And they tell you, I think it's the gland called a cortisol, if I'm not mistaken. And, and, and pretty much, if you have a lot of stress, it can, stress can lead you to gaining weight and becoming obese. And these so-called black women, with this whole, this whole agenda and whole entitlement and this whole thing, they, they can you know pretty much uh, do everything on their own, this strong, black, independent woman. And it's been um, on documentaries that have came out about the detrimental uh, effect that this this um this state that this, these this so called black women holds is very detrimental to their health, and that's why these so called black women are fucking fat as hell and over out, over obese and out of shape because they stress the fuck out, man. Um, <clears throat> bear with me real quick. Um, apocrypha. Let me see health. It says, um, where is it? And one thing, our people, they don't have help. I mean, wisdom, knowledge, nor understanding. Because it tells you in the scripture that, uh, you know, um, wisdom, you know, pretty much, you know, is help is the ultimate of, of health. You know, if you have wisdom and knowledge and understanding. Why? Because you, you would really take consideration of what you do out here. You know, you wouldn't walk, you would walk um, circumspectly instead of walking carelessly. That's why the scripture says uh, the, the, the women of uh, Jerusalem are, are haughty, you know. Let me see. Uh, Sirach 30, 15, health and good estate of body are above all gold and strong above, and a strong body above infinite wealth. And the thing about our people, we are, we've been taught to just pretty much eat whatever, be a glutton, and fuck your body. You know, girl, you cute. Oh, I, you know, you hear the nigga woman, oh, I'm getting a, gu a gut, girl, but I'm still cute. I still pull niggas. You know, like I said, you just sit back and just listen to these so-called black women, man. They, 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 their whole mind process is just fucked up and destroyed. And, it, and it's, it, it's it, I mean, it's, it is what it is, man. You know, like I said, they're going to drop, they, they, you know, they got, they have a lot of, uh, you know, things that they have to pay for. But, you know, overall, let me go back to the article. And like I said, um, obesity in African Americans. I mean, this is a goddamn shame. Yo, that girl was fucking big, man. And you know, I, I'm like, I don't know if that was a man or a woman. It, I mean, I, 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 I want to say it was a chick, but I don't know, man. The arms were fucking huge, like, man, and, man. That's, and I was. And, I, I was, 
I'm saying to myself, like, how, why, why, you know, why are these Edomites allowing this on their, on their, in their business? Because, you know, where I was at, um, it was like a, a Edomite shop there, you know? It's like a, you know, I don't know if brothers are familiar with Rite Aid or C, uh, yeah, Rite Aids. It's like a, um, another branch of CV, CVS pharmacies. And, and where this is at is not in the Jake neighborhood. This is in, like, you know, uh, uh, Edomite. Predominantly Edomite, but you have Jakes that come out here, that live out here. But pretty much what I'm saying is not no nigga. It's not a nigga area, you know. And, and to see that, because you actually, when you go into, uh, you actually have a, like a pharmacy in the store. And, you know, when you look at those Edomites in there, they you can tell that they have, they have uh, you know, degrees and, and, you know, again, to see that in a, a, as a manager and, you know, this fucking thing, you know, this bitch had like a, a she was tatted up, um, this old t-shirt on that you can see her, her shoulders and these black pants that was tight and she looked like Jay's on her feet and his arms um, and, and big old earrings and this old gelled up hair in a ponytail wig I'm, and, I'm, and I'm like yo this shit don't make no this is absurd you know I, 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 and I'm, I'm like man this place is through man that's basically what I'm saying this place is fucking through and you know more that I you know day to day you know I, I see you know the, the black woman they're through and I can't really you know it's not, I can't stress this and you're like yo the black woman is, the black woman here in America Fucking through, man. And pretty much, y'all don't get y'all shit together, <laughs> yo. A lot of majority, a lot of you gonna die. But it says obesity in African Americans. So Amer- African American women, which are the Judite women, have the highest rates of obesity or being overweight compared to other groups in the United States. About four out of five African American women are overweight or obese. In two thousand eighteen. Non Hispanic blacks with one, you basically you see what that point you can. Um, I'm gonna jump down. You said people who are overweight are more likely to suffer from high blood pressure, high levels of blood fats, diabetes, and LDL cholesterol, off risk factors for heart disease and a stroke. So in 2018, African Americans were 20% less likely to engage active physical activity as compared to non Hispanic whites. And I'm gonna tell you something about fucking uh, so-called black women. They make a million fucking excuses not to fucking work out, but to do everything else, be a busybody, be in somebody else's business, to chase a goddamn PhD, a degree, to uh, to move up in a in a fucking company. They're all for it, but when it comes to their fucking health, it's it's a million fucking excuses, man. I ain't got time. I'm tired. But but if it was to if it was to help that black bitch get any money. Or help her try to basically level up over a man. Oh, she's all for it. She got plenty of time. You know, she'll cut this out. I don't give a damn. This bitch had ten kids. She'll cut. She'll cut some shit out so she can level up. You know, but when it comes to her body, she doesn't fucking care. She thinks she's cute. She 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 can cover this shit up. She can she can walk around with this old sassy pride about herself, and and, and it is what it is. Now, and I'm going to just scroll down. This is uh the chart, you know. And like I said, man, it, it, it's fucking sad, man, you know. You know, these, these so-called black women, are, 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 they're gone, man. And, and again, man, that, yo, that, man, when I saw it, I, I, I was like, yo, what the fuck? This bitch, if this bitch grabbed me, it's over. You know, and, and again, I'm not trying, I'm not making this video f- to be funny. I mean, the fuck, fuck being funny. This, you know, this is serious, man. These, these chick is is it's a guy. It's, it's getting it's crazy, man. It's getting out of fucking hand. All these girls got bellies, guts and butts, two butts, one in the front, one in the back. Everything just shaking. You go. Uh, me and the brothers went to Virginia Beach. This fucking black woman had a big ass back. In this tight ass fucking spandex one onesie on, and I'm and, and just walked it walking around with no goddamn shame. You know. 
again, man, you know, due to the curses, due to uh, bad genes, due to, uh, you know, um, constantly eating sugar, Esau, destroying our people, um, fucking up our water, our food, GMO, um, drugs, crack, cocaine, whatever. All that has has had effect in in a, of our offsprings, because what Esau is doing is he kills the sperm cells in the men due to their lifestyle and the trauma that they go through: cigarettes, drinking and drugging, lifestyle, partying, stress, um, depression. And then when the women are um pregnant, they take all them chemicals and harmful lifestyles, the stress and the stress going into that child. And that offspring, like I said, be fucked up, you know. So it, it's not a well developed baby, you know. And and again, that all has a factor in what's going on to this day. And again, you know, uh, man, gyms and being healthy and up taking care of your body, eating good, eating you know, eating salads, eating trying to eat better, you know, that's not taught amongst so called blacks, man. Pretty much sugar, soda. Eating, eating glutton, eating good, eating fat, eating lavish, eating pork, shrimp, crab, lobster, you know, um, juicy juice, whatever, you know, food stamps, fill up the refrigerator. I mean, that's, man, and, and the list goes on, man. But that's that's pretty much it, you know. Hey, those really, I was edified, man. But pretty much, hey, like I'm saying, you know, man, this place is through, man. It's a, and it's a goddamn shame, man. It's just, we at the end. Shalom.